Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the most awaited video of the year for my channel. And that is going to be my bag collection for 2022. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see either one really long video where I kind of speed through everything and talk really fast about each bag or if you wanted me to do it in two parts where I kind of explain a little bit more thoroughly like the topics that you chose even though the poll was really really close i decided to split this video into two parts so the two parts is going to be my luxury handbag collection but then there's also going to be kind of like a third part where i talk about all of my contemporary designer bags which are the ones i have on display right now now the topic that you guys picked um from you know, the community posts that I did on YouTube and also my Instagram stories were how functional each bag is, um, what is like my most used and least used, the wear and tear of each bag, what I use each bag for, like what occasion, and then how I feel about the bag now versus when I bought it. So because that is a lot of topics, that's also why I decided to split it into two parts. Now I'm not going to go over like what fits, why I bought it, the price and everything, because um, some people mentioned that I already do that in like my reviews and unboxing videos. So if you're interested in that kind of thing and like a more detailed you know, review type video, um, please go check out these videos individually. I'll try to link as many as I can down below. Um, but honestly, just um, in the search bar, just type in like X Saki Saki, you know, Louis Vuitton review or something and it, the video should pop up. So yeah, let us just get started. Ugh, sorry, the intro is already pretty long. I'm going to be talking about my bags from least used to most used as well. So this half of the video is going to be more of like the least used bags. And then the other part will be the fun, like the most used bags in my collection. This is literally the least used bag in my collection. Very quickly, just to recap, I had bought it um, in 2020, right after Noah and I got married as like a little wedding gift souvenir for myself. So what I use it for, I actually don't really use this bag this much. Um, if I ever do use it, it is because I'm wearing like a shade of pink or white that um, just goes well with this more like purpley lilac shade of pink. And if I'm like in the mood to wear something that like I don't normally wear. And that's it. <laughs> so because of that, the wear and tear is also really great. There is no wear, no tear. <laughs> I mean, there's a little bit of like scuffing on the bottom, probably just for me putting it places, but everything else looks really, really great. As for the functionality of it, um, I don't find this bag to be very functional. That's another reason why I don't use it very much. The bag has like all of these compartments. Um, there's like three of them. So even though the bag is kind of big um, for like a mini or medium sized bag, you can't fit as much stuff in here because um, the bag is divided into little compartments. And then obviously you can tell from my rambling about this bag, I don't feel the same way um, that I do now compared to when I first bought it. Um, I was completely in love with it when I first bought it. It was at like a great price point as well. And I thought I would get more use out of it, but um, now that I've tried it out in the real world and definitely in comparison to the other bags in my collection, I just really never reach for it. So yeah, that's kind of how I feel about this one. All right, now the next bag in my collection is going to be my vintage Chanel vanity case. So what I actually use this for is I tend to use this one more in the summer when I really want something unique that stands out, that is really fun, that's not like a, you know, classic Chanel flap, but still Chanel. So I've worn this a couple of times with like more just fun outfits during the summer. I'll put some examples here if I can find them. But other than that, this bag is hard to use in terms of functionality because it doesn't have a strap. So what I like to do is wrap a twilly around the handle, but even then it's not very functional because you open the bag and it's just kind of like, blah, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like your items kind of just like, they don't spill out, but I don't know. I just find that this isn't really a functional way of opening a bag, especially if you are carrying it like this. So in terms of how I feel about it now, I think I feel pretty much the same. I don't think that when I bought it, I was really going for, you know, a bag that I'm going to be using all the time. I just really thought it was a good bargain and it's in my favorite Chanel pink of all time, which is this nine series pink from like 2004 ish. And I still love it in my collection, even though I don't use it as much. The next bag we're going to be talking about is my Chanel Coco Handle 
medium size in python and <laughs> now this bag is not very functional for me in the fact that it is in such a crazy delicate leather i have basically only used this like maybe once or twice just to go to like the mall um but i am so afraid to carry it out anywhere else um, because of how delicate the python leather is and also if i'm being honest because of how like unique and stand out this bag is I love everything like the color the size of the bag so if I were ever to like redo my bag collection at any point I probably would sell this one in order to buy another medium-sized cocoa handle maybe in caviar leather in terms of like functionality just based off of like the size and everything I think that this bag is amazing it's such a great shape and size you can hold so many things in here I would compare it to like maybe a Chanel jumbo although it does have like like two divided compartments you can still fit a ton of stuff in here and it's not like crazy overwhelming on your body either so yeah that is why i do really love the cocoa handle medium in general just the python exotic leather maybe i wasn't thinking <laughs> enough when i bought it next up we have my dolce and gabbana devotion bag i believe that this is called this is in the mini size with the top handle um, so I bought this bag on sale. Um, it was like heavily discounted and I just really liked the way that it looked. I normally wear this bag when I'm looking for a really cute crossbody bag. I really like to wear this outfit with like my pleated kind of plaid skirts because this reminds me of like the shape of a book bag, which is like really schoolgirl-ish. Um, the only thing is that I have to be careful with the kinds of pink that I wear with this because this is more of like a purple toned pink compared to all the other bags in my collection. The other thing is it is in patent leather so I was really worried about it at first but honestly it's probably a combination of me not using it very much but there is no wear and tear so far and it is again one of those bags where like when I bought it I didn't expect it to you know be able to use it every day or anything so um that's not a disappointment to me so yeah i kind of still feel the same about this bag i really love it and hopefully i get to use it more in the future the next bag is going to be my medium lady dior now the lady dior bag is so funny because when i first got this bag i was so in love with the lady dior that i bought like three other ones right away um but now <laughs> this is one of the bags that i use the least whenever i do use it i feel like this bag um looks really really great when you are going out for like an evening when you have like a special occasion but you need to carry a lot of stuff with you because this bag still looks super elegant with like the top handle um but it's also large whereas most you know evening bags are small so i have worn this um you know to go out to dinners and stuff where I'm dressing up really nicely now in terms of functionality i think that this bag is very very functional a lot of reviews will say oh you know like the opening is tough i think because i have um kind of like a vintage one this one is like from 2004 it's really easy to open and use um sorry i have it stuffed right now to keep its shape now as for wear and tear because this bag was already used there was a lot of wear like in the corners and everything when i first got it um there's also kind of like I don't know if you can tell but the bag kind of concaves a little bit right here um which was there when i first bought the bag but overall um it's in really great condition and shape especially for being in lambskin leather and from being in from 2004 so i'm not like as obsessed or like head over heels in love with it as i once was when i first bought it but that kind of comes and goes like honestly i'll be super in love with it one day and kind of meh about it the next day so that is why I keep it around um, because I know in my heart that I still do really love it. This next bag is a newer piece to my collection, but this is the Picatin 18. Um, I recently was talking about this in my worst purchases video, I think, and it's because I don't really use it that much. I have used it before and I used it when it was during the summer and I was wearing like a really cute, fun, summery outfit. And I think that this bag goes really well with that kind of outfit. Like, you know, it's the sundresses, like really flowing kind of, um, 
outfit type and it's also like one of those bags where i think is super casual but because um i bought this kind of like towards the end of summer um i just don't feel like this is a very wintry bag it's kind of like a bucket bag style which i just always associate with spring and summer so yeah i haven't really used this one much now i might you know keep it in my collection until next spring and summer to give it like another go but at the same time my mom really loves this bag so this might end up in her collection um if i ever do a collection video with my mom to show off her collection it's going to be really funny because a lot of my old bags that you don't see anymore are in her collection whenever i'm like oh i'm gonna sell this bag she's always like oh i want it don't sell it like give it to me now um in terms of functionality i think that this bag is pretty functional in the fact that you can fit a lot of stuff in here i mean it's just like one giant hole um so you can stuff it as much as you want um even wearing it like this where it's kind of open i think looks really cute especially if you're just you know using it like this um however it doesn't have a crossbody strap or a shoulder strap i know that you can buy one to hook onto the handles but i really don't like the way that that looks so it is a little bit cumbersome if you do have a lot of stuff in here the only way to carry it is like in your hand which i don't think is going to be very functional when i have the baby also so um yeah that is another thing to keep in mind now in terms of wear and tear it's brand new so there is no wear and tear right now um and then how i feel about it now i was really really excited because i was just dying for anything in this rose sakura color you guys know this is my favorite hermes color but now that i've used the bag a little bit more i just think that it's a um you know type of bag that doesn't really go with my style i've never really liked bucket bags but i thought because this one is like a unique shape that you know i'd kind of feel differently about it but i still do really really love the color and everything so maybe i'll let it go maybe i won't we'll see next we are going to be talking about my louis vuitton speedy 30 i just talked about this bag in my louis vuitton collection video so basically i use this bag mainly for work if i ever do use it it's literally one of my least used bags i actually do plan on using this bag a little bit more after my kid comes a lot of people were saying that like after the newborn stage like when they're toddlers and stuff and you don't need as much stuff for them um having a bigger like medium size bag like this is really great because you can put all of your stuff plus the stuff that you need for your kid in here as well so i think i'm going to get a lot of use out of it a little bit later as like my mom bag i guess but yeah right now if i do ever use it it's for work or for travel i've used it for travel before as well as like a carry-on bag i think it works really well in terms of functionality i think it's pretty functional i mean it's a large bag i have an organizer in here right now but if i am using it for travel and i need to stuff a lot in there i don't use the organizer because i find it restricts like how much you can put in terms of wear and tear this happens to all of my louis vuitton canvas bags but there is some rubbing on the corners um you can see it right there when i show you my neverfull and what the wear and tear looks like on that overall louis vuitton canvas is usually pretty good but i think because of this um pink like print that is just painted on top this kind of fades pretty quickly so i always find that um well i have a lot of these tahitian print um, pieces so I find that a lot of the times the pink part will rub off especially on the corners and on the bottom and then there is this huge gash on the bottom and this pink part which I honestly can't remember if it came that way or if I did it um, but it kind of looks like a burn mark like it looks like I might have put this on like a flat iron and it burned a little bit but I don't remember doing that so I don't know how that got there the vachetta is a little bit darker um, than it was when I first bought it. I bought it used, so it was never like super stark white or anything, but I do notice that there are some little like water droplets and it has gotten darker. And then in terms of how I feel about it now, I still love it. I think that the Tahitian print is so unique and that is one of the reasons why I do really love it. And like I said, I'm keeping it in my collection because I do think that one, it's a classic and two, um, I'll get a lot of use out of it a little bit later on. Next up is my Louis Vuitton Alma BB. I use this bag whenever I want a crossbody bag that can hold a lot, a lot of stuff. This bag actually used to be one of my most used bags, but now I just have so many that I don't really gravitate towards this one anymore. The thing that I love the most about it is like how much it can hold for being like a smaller crossbody bag. Now in terms of wear and tear, um, there is a lot of like 
little tiny marks here and there on the patent leather and if you guys know patent leather you know that it's very hard to get any sort of marks out once they're there they're kind of like there forever um i don't know why that is but yeah there's some yellow marks over here and i don't even know what any of these are from other than that the corner wear looks pretty good i mean there is like a little bit of scratching and then this part on the top where the zipper is is fabric so that has kind of like darkened a little bit too just from um, you know me using it and pulling stuff in and out. I still do really love this bag I love the color of the rose ballerine um, Louis Vuitton doesn't make it that often anymore So that's one of the reasons why I keep it around and I just think it's super functional um, When I do need a bag that I can just grab and go and stick a bunch of stuff in that's not too large This one is the perfect one to grab next is my YSL uptown pouch now actually this is surprising because i thought it would be like at the very beginning of my video with like the least used bags but i actually use this bag quite often whenever i go to dinner and i'm wearing something like really chic like my red jumpsuit or like a really fancy like fitted dress or something i like to wear this it just makes me feel so much more elegant or something and like if i am wearing other colors like red like i just mentioned um i want to carry a bag that's not pink because I just think that pink would clash a little bit um so I'm very very glad that I have this in my collection I brought it with me to Vegas and I um used it for dinner then and I brought out to New York and I used it for dinner then as well so yeah it's just one of those bags where I like to just chuck it in my you know travel bag because it's so light and thin and then I do end up using it for dinners it's not super functional because it's very thin so whenever I do go out I just literally stick my credit card lipstick and phone in here and then that's it I do also carry a little um, chain strap in here so I just wrap it around the flap and then I use it as a shoulder bag when I don't want to just carry it like this so yeah not the most functional of bags but I just love the way that it looks so much and it was really you know inexpensive for what it is I think the price is a little bit higher now but I still think that this is a really great bag next up we have my vintage Chanel from 1982 I think this is a two series now I bought this bag because it was made in the same year that I was born or around the same year I think that the two series range is like 1990 to 1993 but I like to say that it's 1992 because we're twins and I got this one off of Yugi's Closet. I just love the fact that it's in pink. It's in pretty good condition. And it really just shows you like how amazing Chanel wear and tear is. Obviously, it's not perfect. Like the quilting is flat now and there is some wrinkles. But I just think that that adds to the charm of the bag. I mainly wear this bag when I'm wearing like a really classy kind of outfit like maybe something with houndstooth print or something a little bit more on the elegant side i feel like i have to dress kind of like you know 19 50s kind of style to match this bag with like pearls and stuff i don't feel this way about my other chanel classic flaps but for this one i feel like i have to dress a little bit more vintage to go with like the vintage vibe of this bag and because it's a medium flap and i just find medium flaps very very functional um i've you know worn it to like go shopping i've worn it to go out to lunch i've worn it to you know just do stuff like that where I don't have to, you know, carry something that can be like rough handled or whatever. So yeah, in terms of like the wear and tear, I mean, like I said, this bag is 30 years old. Of course, there's wear and there's tear um, with the like quilting and everything like that. The bag also does feel like not as soft anymore. So since I've had it, I don't feel like I've worn it out any more than it was already. But other than that, I still love it as much as the day I bought it. It's not a bag that I bought expecting to use all the time. So I do only bring it out on special occasions when I'm wearing the right outfit. But I still really, really love this bag and I'm so happy that it's in my collection. All right, next up is my Chanel Jumbo bag. Now you're probably surprised to see this in this half of the video, but I've kind of stopped using this bag as much as I did when I first bought it. If you guys have watched any of my um, videos when I first got this, you'll know that I was so obsessed about it. 
but it's just really heavy. That's literally one of the only reasons why I don't use this bag anymore. It's heavy on its own. Like right now, there's nothing in here except for the organizer. And I just feel like my arm is like, like tired already. It's a great bag in terms of functionality because you can hold a lot of stuff in here. And, you know, it looks really great and elegant. It's like a great day to night bag. It's one of those bags I would use like if I needed to carry a lot of stuff during the day, but I also didn't want to switch out bags for like a evening out. Um, this bag would definitely be one of my picks, except for the one caveat that it is heavy. So if I'm feeling like really tired or if like right now I'm pregnant and I'm already exhausted just from existing. And then in terms of wear and tear, I did do a wear and tear video on this um, I think at like six months or a year and I still pretty much have the exact same amount of wear and tear because I haven't used it um, as much recently. There is some rubbing in the corners. You can tell that the little um, shiny iridescence has worn off a little bit in the corners. So I don't know if it'll do that, you know, on the back where it's rubbing against my clothes if I had worn it more. So you can probably already tell I'm not as in love with this um, as I once was when I first bought it. I still really do think that the jumbo size is a classic and I know a lot of people are a fan of it, but personally I prefer the medium size over the jumbo, but I'm still really glad I have one in my collection because like I I said I do reach for it from time to time and I just think it's really beautiful. Next up is my Chanel Trendy CC in the small size. I don't think that they make a smaller size than this. Now I don't use this one as much as I did before I got my Coco Handle. I just find that this one and the Coco Handle are super similar and I tend to gravitate more towards the Coco Handle because it's in caviar and it's just like a newer bag in my collection but I still do really love this one. Now, in terms of what I use it for, I like to use this one. Most of my bags are like, oh, I'm going out shopping, going out to lunch, where I don't actually even do those things that much. So this is just like a classic day bag kind of bag for me. Um, it's also a really great evening bag when I do want to carry something more than like a clutch or a mini bag. The functionality is also really good because it's got these three compartments, but they aren't as like restricting as I normally find compartments to be. I think that they're a really great size to organize your stuff. Now, in terms of wear and tear, of course, there is, you know, the classic, you know, rubbing on the corners. It is in lambskin leather, so that's bound to happen. But I also have to mention that this stitch has popped loose. This is kind of like a recent development. So as you can see here, I think that you can take this in the Chanel to repair. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it doesn't bother me right now. It's just um, something to take note of. And I think I have heard of this happening in other people's bags as well. And there's also a little bit of scratching from my nails on the inside because this is lined in all leather. A lot of Chanel bags are lined in fabric on the inside, but this one is all lambskin leather as well. So there is a little bit of scratching from when I try to take my items in and out which sucks, but it's okay. It's on the inside, so I don't notice it that much. Oh, and then one more thing. This is kind of weird and random, but you can see how like the CC is stitched up here. So because of that, there's just like little tiny indentations. Oh gosh, I don't think you can see. Um, there's just like little indentations of the stitching on the lambskin leather right here. So that's a little bit annoying, but um, I've kind of gotten used to it by now. But yeah, just something to note if you are looking for this bag in lambskin. And all right, we're down to the last bag of my part one bag collection video. And that is my Givenchy and Sagona. Now, I actually do feel like I use this bag pretty often. I use this mainly for work when I'm kind of tired of my Neverfull or when I don't like need to carry my laptop and I, you know, just want like a smaller bag than my huge tote bag. I also find that this bag is really cute when I'm wearing like a really classy work outfit. Like whenever I wear pants, I want to wear this bag for some reason. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but um, yeah, so I do feel like, you know, compared to all the other bags that I talk about, I still reach for this one pretty often. The um, functionality of this bag is pretty great. I mean, some people complain about the opening and the zipper, but I think because I use mine a lot and I bought mine used, um, it's really easy to open and the zipper is really, really easy to use as well. So I don't know if people still complain about that. Um, another thing is people complain about the older ones not having like the long strap, but I like this strap a lot. I can just fling it over my shoulder and I don't find that it's too short on me. 
the handles never bother me even though they kind of do touch my armpit a little bit but overall i think it's very comfortable now in terms of wear and tear this bag has a lot now there is a um a lot of scuffing on the handles the handles actually look pretty bad um i don't know if you can see there are a lot of black marks i actually got this like little handle cover from a company called love handles that i've been using i just find that it protects um you know against your oils and your hands and dirt if you do you know carry something like this you can also use like a twilly or something um so sometimes i'll just use one love handle and then put a twilly in the front and that protects it pretty well um the other thing is that there's a lot of scuffing on the bottom you can totally see that right um and it's just because when i do use this bag i am very careless with it like i'll throw it on tables on the floor stuff like that especially um because you know if i am using it at work i'm not so careful with it but overall i think that the wear and tear is pretty good so yeah i still really love this bag i don't think that you know the Givenchy Antigona is like out of style or anything I think that it's really a classic and if you love it go for it it's just one of those bags that you really can't go wrong with and it's very functional and all right that was it for part one of my handbag collection now I felt like that took forever could you imagine how long this video would be if I did all of my bags they're still like 14 bags left guys <laughs> So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this part one. Did any of the bags that I showed you surprise you? Um, do you have any other questions? I would love to answer them. Please stay tuned for part two. That'll probably be coming next week and that will be the other half of my collection that is the most used. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you for part two next week. Thank you. Bye.